I'm just throwing the ball. But, I, but I, if you want to go back now, you want to you want to talk about Greece? Go back. Uh, to right, right. Oh, we sports. don't want to talk about Greece. Greece. Javelin. Yeah. We're about to get the show started. Shit, right. Running and wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. No sports. Yeah. Running? Running. Yeah, they had a little track meet. They had a little meet. I seen um, T. Starks. He uh, posted them videos from Heights Track. Heights Track always was like something to watch, man. That was... Heights Track was, mm-hmm. was good, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Them niggas was fast. Track meets, especially like the 4x4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did the 4x4. Four four. Four four you ran four Track? Four. Yeah. Wiley. Did you say Wiley? Yeah. You asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I, junior I, high school. Hey, it still was track. <laughs> You're right, I guess. I guess it counts. It was competitive. Those niggas were quick. How, about, how competitive is junior high track? You must be from Roxborough. Yeah. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. Uh, he had no wholesalos. Watch your, everybody, oh, but everybody from Roxborough no can fight though. What is that? You ain't whooping nobody from Roxborough. You crazy, Roxborough. Yeah, they ran you ain't like rockets. Nobody asked. Y'all Roxborough. ran faster than rockets. It, nigga fighting, nigga. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roxborough's a bunch of bitches. They like the Duke. They like they like they like the Duke. They like they like Duke of the. Uh, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Y'all Duke. Roxborough's like Duke. Nigga from Redwood was not coming down no more. that shit. Y'all niggas crazy. Nigga Redwood just started getting. Bullshit popping in the What y'all on the <laughs> square? It's crazy. What y'all, none of y'all G Road, nigga. <laughs> hey, so welcome back to the J Man Show. I'm not sure what number this is. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Bend and popped off the show. We are joined with or by <laughs> B Hill. <laughs> he's What's back happening? in the building. He didn't he's he's really coming for the co-host spot. Really? Wayne. Like, he's putting the pressure on. Wayne, you keep training. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't get oh my God. God. Yeah, 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 see in in you know what? If he, <laughs> hey, that's if he, dope. Damn. Damn. That's dope. That was a good reference, though. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is 216 Muscle Mr. B- ben Hill. Ben, ben Hill. <laughs> I'm a pervert now. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Oh, wait, you Benny Hill? Hill. I do. Benny no, I do. You I remember do. Benny Hill. We're getting off to a rough start. We should start this whole thing over. You want to clap again? <laughs> right. <laughs> Take three. I am J Matt. This is the J Matt Show. This is B Hill. Word. And we got Benjamin Lewis. Oh, Benjamin. 216 Muscle. Listen, before we go any further, I want to make sure we get a couple things out the way before... You know, our, our listeners drop off. You know, they'd be about five, ten minutes in, give you some shit. This nigga talk about nothing. We out of here. Right. <laughs> we out of here. Before you, you leave, hit that thumbs up. I'm but go ahead. I don't right. think you plugged, Joe. Did you plug anything last last time you was here? Go ahead. Plug, yeah. your, plug your site, man. Uh, 216muscle.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Google 216muscle. Right. Yeah, you got some good stuff going on YouTube, too, man. I like that. I like how everybody's being creative during this yeah. time, man. You got to do what you got to do. And you ain't no 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 stranger to the hustle. So. Well, it motivates me to stay active though, because I have to put content together to put out on YouTube. Right. Be my best muscle. So Check I gotta out. work out. Go subscribe. To put the content out. Um. And now I'm doing the home workouts live with the DJ Showtime on Instagram Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Bet. How's everybody receiving that? Dope. Yeah. I think they like the DJ more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got a DJ I mean, in the make, building too. I make them do push-ups and shit like that. They don't like me. They come yeah. for the music. Like, yeah. yeah, DJ Banger. Last night he did a whole. I'll let you get that off right now. So yeah, follow two and six muscle right if you want to look like me. Yeah. He's been doing a good I'm job with me. What I say? So two and six muscle. Go ahead and plug. You, do you got a real page shirt on today? <laughs> Not today, Not but you're killing me, small. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, that's one of my favorite lines. Uh, yeah, it is seen, though. You've never seen the same line. Oh, you disrespected. You, you cannot yeah. quote this line without knowing where you exactly well, I've, seen, no, I've seen it in bits on. and pieces. You really can't so quote that. You about. really can't quote that. But I've never just sat and you watched the movie all the way through. Sandwich. Yeah, you got to please, please, please tell me you'll watch it. And that those movie. of you who are not going to the Ribcage Smokehouse 216, you're killing me, Smalls. Get the cafe. East right. side, west side. The cafe's bad. So we got a lot of Big shit time. to talk about today, and we had a very interesting start to the show that is, is not televised <laughs> or that aired. Was green room <laughs> that was yeah, hell of a green room debate. And I love it. This is why I like having people that that stand their ground. This is like Florida. <laughs> stand their ground in the fucking debate room, nigga. Like mm. if you have something to say, you got a point, you got something on your mind that needs to be shared, don't be fucking scared to say it. And that's what I like about the show. Black lives yeah. matter. 
I mean, nothing's Do you mean that? Sport, though, man. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> why, don't, why wouldn't I mean that? Because that was random as hell. You said if you got something on you, I was thinking about old dude that got shot, man. Oh, wait, oh. wait, you talking about the, on my mind. Right, wait, the dude, the jogger, the jogger dude? Bro, I got a run challenge going right now. I got 70 people running all over the country. All right, I so worry I'm, about shit like that. I didn't oh, plan on starting like that, but I did hear about it i didn't really want to look into the story I because i didn't want to be I sad i've seen the video i didn't want to be the and i'm confused about it okay he's running yeah he was just jogging wait 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 in his neighborhood oh wait, listen hold on, hold on. this is this is what i've seen now you see this guy now first this? off did he die yeah yeah, yeah. all but right so condolences rest in, yes, peace, rest in peace before we go any further because you, you a got car. a smirk on your face come wait, on, come on. wait you, got, you got a car um trailing this guy that's jogging right then you got this truck that's already stopped in this middle of the road. As he's coming to it, you see the guy, he comes to the right side of the car. And then there's already a guy in the street. And then you see the guy coming at the dude with the gun. Right. And that's when, like, you hear the shots. So we're kind of thinking, like, if he was just a jogger, who was the person filming him? You just want to film a random jogger all of a sudden? And then, like, where did the confrontation pop off at? So you, you think it's a false flag? I ain't, I'm about to say, I'm confused. Because if he was literally there just was no jogging. There was no comfort. So this is the backstory. The truck was already sitting there. All right, no, so let, the let, let Ben give a backstory these, because these were, I don't know what happened and I don't know if the listeners know. Well, the, the, the murderers were interviewed originally before the video came out because people, they know who killed him. They said that he was robbing their house. He was a burglar. And they... Like he was running away or something? And, yeah. Okay. And killed okay. Him. But after the video, they've now changed their story and said that they were responding to burglaries going on in the neighborhood, and they saw him leaving a house, and they were going to make a citizen's arrest. Now, were they police wow. officers? No, citizens. citizens. So, wow. so they have vigilantes like like Zimmerman. Zimmerman gang. Sure. Wow. Interesting. So that's, see, that's what you get with those. How do you not even know your name? That's what you get with those country ass cities Wait with a minute. them gun laws. If, if that guy lives there, jogging his community. And they obviously live there and they're protecting their community. How do you not know this black kid lives here? I don't think that's what it was man. about, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, saying. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, well, black man, he seemed like probably a little younger than but, black, like that, but uh, how I don't, do you, I don't, I don't think that's what, what it was saying. about, dude. But, but I'm just if saying, I, though, I, I but you would right know it's not jog, him no, if, I go if, 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 if you know your community. The, yeah, but if I go jog around the block, my neighbors don't know me. Around, not on the, but they see you frequently around this puppy. I'm sure they don't know your first name. Yeah, but it depends on which. If I take a different route, like one day I ran down and cut through Bexley, whatever that street is over there by yeah. Bexley. I, I had never taken that route before. Okay, so I can see that. Know who I am? I can see, see that. There's a brother running down the street. I can see that. Dig, dig, All right, dig, so dig. so basically, just if it is innocent black running, man running wild black got killed. Yeah, running, running wild, wild black. black. Yeah, all so damn. Yeah. And what what state was this in? Was it Georgia? I think it was Georgia. I'm pretty sure it was Georgia. That's one okay. thing. So and it was both. If it wasn't Georgia, too. y'all forgive me on Georgia, but I'm pretty sure it was Georgia. Yeah. So, yeah, another reason why I, I never intended on moving anywhere down south. Like, it's just the race shit is real. It's not like it's ever went away. It's not like it's getting. I'm not saying it's getting but worse or getting south? better, what, but I just better? don't. I, they just don't want to let it go, man. It's just different. The gun laws are different. For you, too. <laughs> I don't care, but I, I'm not trying to be in no shootout at the OK Corral. Yeah, like I'm, I'm good. Like I'm, I'm straight. So you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But let's get on to something a little bit more uh, upbeat. God damn, y'all niggas start with the death. No, you know what? Let's go over to the to the murder hornets since we on <laughs> death. Like the, the oh, yeah. I don't like the name murder hornet. They just trying to scare bees? people, man. I mean, yeah. like they murder bees, but. <laughs> like we don't well, call them killer bees. We yeah, don't call killer them, like, bees. Murder, murder hyenas, nigga. They kill everything right. too. Like who killer can, bees. But you call it a murder, murder hornet. hornet. It's, it's just like killer I bees think is already taken. Everything right. is about <laughs> headlines. You know what I'm saying? Did you have a problem with killer bees? No, that that was I love a wrestling group. Bro, I'm talking about they're really bees called killer bees. I know that's where that comes. So I'm saying so, so killer bees is already took it, but murder murder, murder is just more aggressive of a word than, than kill. Yeah. Anything with like an R in it go go hard. Of them? <laughs> like, I say them. I say them. They're like this, bro. I think they're no, making they, that I shit. I think they're bigger like than that. They sound like two inches. Uh, they, them things look crazy though. Yeah. Yeah. They, I, I think that's just a bunch of bullshit though. Why? I mean, I'm not really worried about. They're trying to scare you. They said they said it can hurt a human. It can kill a human if it stings you repeatedly. 
if you get stung once and you hung around to get stung the second time, I don't really I'm not worried about yeah. harm, physical harm. I'm talking about what they do to like bees. What the fuck if bees go away? Then we fuck. Now that's what I'm saying. Like I'm 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 thinking about the environmental oh, okay. aspect okay. of okay. it as opposed to niggas getting stung. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn murder hornet. Okay. You ain't about to <laughs> kill. You're like well, murder, murder. Okay, well then check this. Then the name could still be very much relevant. True, because they, they murder the bees. bees. No, like if they wipe out the bees, they wipe out us. That's true. <laughs> so, they so fact though, murder hornets murder the bees. They murder us because no bees, no us. We no, that's true. That's true. Not to backtrack. It was a, it was a bunch of shit that that came and went because it's been two weeks since we came since we was oh, yeah, we was here talking. Yeah. yeah, we didn't do shit last week. Like, I wanted to I wanted to ask y'all how y'all felt about the virtual draft, <laughs> the NFL shit. Now, <laughs> not not about the draft itself, like. It wasn't as interesting because it wasn't the typical format that everybody enjoys. Niggas See, walking I actually, stage. it was more interesting to me because they didn't do so much camera time focusing on dudes just sitting waiting to get picked that they did more analysis. They so did. So for me, it was actually yeah, more you, you like all those analytics yeah, and shit. Like, yeah. But I like I like the See, whole story <laughs> with the girlfriends, though, bro. Like, <laughs> just to <laughs> see these buddy. chicks trying to shine so man. hard. It was, I, I'm telling you, up. man, that was... To me, I watched that. And I'm like, this is a lesson, man. I hope men is watching this with their sons or whatever, letting them know, like, listen, man, you cannot have no hangers on just waiting for you to make it. And right. then you, well, on, like, you on, can't on, have on. these broads around how, you. How long you and Shirley been together? That's different. I'm no, not I'm an athlete. Asking. Athlete. Wait, so if you was an athlete, you wouldn't be with Shirley? Probably not. <laughs> hey, okay. I, I, that's, a, that's, hey, that's, that's, that's a true statement. statement. <laughs> okay, that's Shit, that's, that's a true statement. statement. Well, real talk, real talk. The how fuck, fuck is you serious? Together, Shit, how, money making. How long have y'all been together? Different. Total? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Uh, 20 some years. So, since high school? Yeah. So, if you was a 21-year-old dude, and that had been your woman for five, six years. You man, you done flipped my whole uh, setup up, man. Now you trying no, to get me caught. I can answer up. that question. Both yeah, you answer it, B. I'm going to tell you straight up and down. I agree 100% with this man. You in that position about to go make you some millions. You supposed to dump your girl? You leave that I didn't say you were supposed to. Hey, look, look, you leave that bitch with you. You leave that bitch alone. But you better be aware of what's happening. You, you shouldn't have been alone. messing with her in the first no, place. No, no, that's not no, true. Because men that ain't mess true. with women. That's Whoa, what we that do. No, true. no, no. But not, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what that I'm ain't saying true. is, if I'm one of the top rated high school football players in the country, I ain't got then, no girlfriend. And then I go to Alabama and I'm the starting left tackle, I'm basically already a pro. So I should already have the mindset that any yeah, chick I ain't messing with, with me is an anger that's what you so get. I shouldn't do that. have to dump her before the draft. I shouldn't even be there. You supposed to keep just if I'm as soon as I get the job as a starting left tackle at Alabama. Yo, y'all got to no, bag up. I, I guess that's what, how. That, that's let how me clarify what I was. Let me rap. let me clarify what I was saying. Ain't no girl. Let me clarify to the what I meant in reference to to speaking on the virtual draft is that okay, recognizing how this woman is behaving in this particular moment should give all those gentlemen. Some red, fla- your spidey senses should be tingling at this point. Well, yeah, Why yeah. is she in the camera view, looking in the in camera the more than she's like really seeing how I'm doing right now? But how did he Why know that she that's fixing what she her do before until she do it? No, you watch the draft afterwards. Like oh, you, so you see, you her after yeah, her. I'm saying like after this. Experience I thought you were saying that, not even have a girl there. Or you well, know, I wouldn't I even mean, have you know, a chick I mean, there. I like, probably, this ain't even about you. You know how people get rid of their girls before Valentine's Day and Christmas? Wow. Right. Like the draft coming up. But you ain't even coming around. We're going to have to. Like, I'll meet you after I get drafted. We'll, if we, if it's meant to be, what it's meant to be. What woman, though? Hey, if it's meant to be, wait for me, baby. Something like that. Or just don't even mess around with them at that type of level. How you always have a couple of bitches because you know you're getting to the money. You know what I'm saying, like that. But you gotta think really? about it. it's gonna be hell. Heck what yeah. If Michelle would have did that to Barack when he was broke. And Fuck she was Barack the and Michelle. That that way. Okay. Now what? That ain't got nothing to do with the example. <laughs> I, <didn't ask. laughs> I just wanted to. Say, I just wanted to drop a bomb because he was real gangster with his shit. So. Why you why fuck Barack and Michelle? Because I don't fuck with them. Oh. <laughs> I'm just being honest, man. <laughs> just being oh, honest, man. I don't fuck with them, man. Like we we them. we stand on shit down here, man. We gonna get into some topics. I don't today. fuck with nobody that went into office broke and came out a millionaire. Man, it's several reasons why. But how you how you coming out of office a millionaire, bro? What y'all doing with a production company? Y'all lawyers. 
How you come out of office? Y'all making, making movies? Yeah, network. And films? What? You, when you make network, you're you, no, no, you ahead of the world. You're not allowed to take money when you're I ain't taking no monies. millions come from? I just start getting smart with a couple of hundred thousand I got. Yeah, okay. Now, let's put a and pin in that. And start making better investments. Let's put a pin in that. I want to come back to that because because we're going to come back to this whole shit. But while I w- we was on the topic of uh, the girlfriends and what just d- getting rid of them before you get major millions, right? Did y'all hear Stephen Jackson tell his story about how he had to leave his wife at the altar? What? No. Amazing story. You haven't heard this story? No. This nigga, first off, Stephen Jackson media? is a great media personality. He's okay. underrated. Their pod, yeah, their podcast with Matt, Matt Barnes, All the Smoke, is great. The conversations that they have with these I'm athletes is amazing. So salute to you. And this dude is a great storyteller. He was on IG Live. I didn't see it. I saw it after the fact. And he, was, he told the story of how he had to end the relationship with his fiance on his wedding day. Some shit that most niggas will or do not have the balls to do. But why? Because she would not sign a prenup. Oh, oh really? shit. Yeah. No, nigga, I'm out. Shit. shit. That's a, that's would a not beautiful sign prenup. That is a beautiful oh, reason. And this nigga was, he, he, he kept it 100. He basically said his heart was broke. You know what I'm Man. saying? This is a woman that he got a child with. He want to make a, have a family, everything. And she wouldn't sign My question the is, prenup. how do you, but see, how do you get to the wedding day? Right, a lot of that. people, uh, that's a lot, a lot of people was asking that. But he, this is what, his, this is his story. I, I, and he I, was just saying he was so in love with her. And he wanted this so bad, he, he just kept believing that she would do it. All the way up until the wedding day. You, matter of yeah, fact, that's kind of fuckery. Well, I checked this though. Kind of. That's some fuckery. What? I, I, I checked this though. I'm not. You signed a marriage license before you get married. Yeah, you got to have a marriage license, right. right? So, ain't they married? I don't know how Le- that works. Go- by the government. The the no, but and not the until it's Christian signed. Ceremony hasn't happened yet. But the pastor has to signed sign it. The the, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Like okay. because it's, that's the, wit- the yeah, that's the witness and the all that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So it's not. I'm like legally. Ain't that yeah, you got to have it there well, so it could be signed after until marriage. you sign the prenup. Right. When we go to the to the clerk and I'm like, yo, we need to get this marriage license. I'm like, oh, bro, you got you forgot something. Yeah, you got the prenup papers. Well, shit. Like I'm not even going through. Well, he it was crazy because. He was like, man, the st- you got to go back and hear the story. I'm going to have to go watch it. He spent 400,000, lost 400,000 like on his IG Live. It's on the YouTube. Okay. It's on the YouTube. I watched the whole thing. It, and the way he was telling the story, he was smoking a blunt. It was just so entertaining. I was like, this is some real shit. We need more, we need more of this <laughs> online. <laughs> we, we need more of a lot of honesty, on, for like, for real. Like, why would you, I wonder why she didn't want to sign the prenup. If you love him too, what's that about? Like, Get your own money. Cause she, because, because she, she didn't. Because she Does was that coming, mean you think we're not gonna work, baby. She was coming in to the relationship with a bag. <laughs> What's that joke, Dave? Like he got all this money, or Cat Williams said, and she got a bag. Mm-hmm. That's why right. she ain't want to sign it, right? You ain't got, you ain't coming in with that, and that's back so to your she ain't point leave with that. Back like, to the so point the with the White House draft fees and shit like <laughs> that. Leaving the, the White House is the like. issue that women will get married. To take advantage of a man financially, or is the issue that the laws are set up that it'll give her half your shit? There is nothing else. Both of them the issue. There, but thank but, you. But I mean, one is the <laughs> root, though, because if the government wouldn't give them half your shit, women wouldn't have no reason to marry. A woman them. ain't never gonna mess with you in the so first place because she know you got potential we gotta, to make some money. Wait a second, we gotta explore what Ben just said. So my thing is, is the is government this. is the motivation. In mm-hmm. what other walk of life? If you got fired from your job, would you be able to say, you know, I entered into a contract with this company. I've been working here for 20 years, and I've gotten used to a certain way of life. That job has to pay me, even though they don't want me here. Unemployment. There's no other walk of life that's like that other than marriage. Preach. You got I got unemp- used to a way of life. You got unemployment that you just filed for, which they pay, that they pay into. Which is, which is cut off rather after, quickly. After, after, wait, until your last <laughs> and, and and still job. Doesn't like, rather quickly. To, I got used to a certain. Right. I don't know if you've ever gotten unemployment. Right. It ain't covering no real bills. Right now, it's up with like forty five percent or some shit. Yeah, like it's like this will hold you bills. over for, for yeah a for a little months. bit until you get something. Yeah, else. until you find another job. But you can't say 
I got used to the way of life that this company provided for me. They got to continue to do that for the rest of my life. Right. There's nothing yeah, other bullshit. than that, like that in marriage. You used to be broke longer than you ever been even, rich. Even child support yeah. ends at 18 years. What if we was married for five? Say we got married at 20, and I'm a billionaire. We was married for five years. You get half my money, and I live to be 100. 5% of my life cost me half my money. Think about that shit. Yeah. It's not worth it. That's why when when people talk about marriage and I be talking about marriage and people ask me about marriage, people and that when I give them my response, people be looking at me like, For real? what? So what's your response? My response is, nigga, no. Don't get married. <laughs> don't. Like, I, I really would. You don't need to be married. You don't yeah, need to because be the way that, I'm telling you, every my view on everything changed once some real I, shit my, my third eye opened. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm not just about to be doing shit that everybody else do just because they everybody else been doing it. Let me yeah. dissect this shit that I'm a part of because they're legal documents. Anytime it's a legal and you know you coming from a, a Christian base, mm -hmm. you think it's marriage is ordained by God. Right. No, it's not. It's right. ordained by, by the government. By, by the fucking government. <laughs> so if you knew that in this Boy. country, you probably wouldn't get married. Yeah. Right. Because you're you're married to the government. Yeah. Because you got to get out of it through them. Yeah. Like, if it was really what you thought growing up, you just break you, up. it wouldn't be what the fuck is going on. That's, like, that's, that's it. A, br a breakup should never cost you half your life. Hell no. Nah. We should be mutually understanding. Damn, man, this is life. You live, Shit. you learn. <laughs> this relationship taught me this, yeah, that, yeah. and the other. I'm going to make the next relationship better. Hey, check Thank this. you. If God you, bless if you. you was in a relationship Good riddance. With a billionaire <laughs> for five to ten years, and you didn't at least overhear some shit. To put yourself in a situation right. in life, you failed anyway. First of all, just out here relying on somebody else. Right, you should have been putting money away instead of Some, just fucking it up. Anyway. He was siphoning five percent right. off whatever he was giving you right. at the time. You know what I'm talking about? You, you stupid. Man, that shit is. I'm telling you, that shit is. It's crazy. And you know what? That's a good segue. I don't have. Do I have it right here? Let 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 a let a woman let have to do that for a man. What's my Oprah ain't never married got, no uh, damn body. They got Mary J. You got Kevin Federline did it to Britney, didn't he? They got Mary J. They got uh, what's her name? The chick on that was on the View. The um, the damn, the, the comedian. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know you. Lonnie Love. No, Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard got hit. Mary J. Got hit. Didn't Fantasia get hit? I don't know. I think Fantasia got hit. No, they expect these women out here. If y'all want to be equal. Pay that, pay that money. Saying, hey, up. Uh, I'm used get to this ass. lifestyle. Pay that money. This get your ass. Ain't free. Right. Get the ass. That's another thing. Like, is it? It's you don't hear too much about gold digging niggas. I do it. I know a lot of. No, they call them womanizers. Yeah. Oh, we're taking advantage of them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, you a dog. Gold you no good. No matter what, the man is wrong. Absolutely. You up. Okay. Absolutely. He, he's either a sugar daddy. Or, or, or he's a womanizer. Or ain't shit nigga. Right. Or all of the above. So if I can get a woman to just pay all my bills and take care of me, I'm an ain't shit nigga. To some, you ain't no real man. To some. You ain't no real man, Ben. Shit, she because she paying bills your bills. You should be paying the bills if you a man, Bill. You better not ask for no damn uh, alimony or whatever that shit's called. I should, Spousal I should have support. To ask for it. The government better give me half. <laughs> right. We we equal, right? There's right. no equal. You ain't no real man, right. Ben. Right. You ain't no real man if you do that, Ben. That's that's <laughs> All right, so let's explore this. Let's I'll explore this idea. <laughs> man. I'll be stabbing. Shit, do you know how many niggas would volunteer to be stabbing? I'll lay the pipe to Oprah right now. Man, tell me about it, man. <laughs> I'd do it for the free. Just hit some billion dollar pussy. <laughs> man, what? Pick up one of them cities, some billion dollar pussy, yeah. <laughs> this what, this what, pussy what, a billion dollars, shit. Yeah. With the old dude, uh, something Nicole. Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole, I'll be the, the black male oh. Anna Nicole. Uh, I will uh, fuck uh, Oprah to death. You take uh, the check. No, no, no. You know what? Anna Nicole Smith, her her situation was way worse. Would you? Are you willing to to do what she he, she was wiping that man's ass? Like he was old. <laughs> to they take all of their inheritance. How much, how much is Oprah worth? So if she was, if Oprah was ninety years wait, old, wait, wait, check this, check this. Would you be? Why well, she the, dead too? Ain't she? Do damn. Rest in peace, Anna Nicole wife, Smith. If I had to, period. So she, why wouldn't I do it for my fifty million dollar meal ticket? I mean fifty second. billion dollar meal ticket. Let me let mm. me just. Real, I don't, I'm not sure you're visualizing what I'm saying. Well, wipe an ass? No, what? no. I'm just. Wipe that was just Oprah's one ass. example. That was just. <laughs> have you ever wiped a baby's booty? 
She was giving this. She was She was giving this man top fellatio. He's eighty five. Are you going down on Oprah at eighty five? Right now, down, down, no, baby, don't say down, right now. Down, down, next don't years. say right now. I hey, said down, at 85. Down, baby, yeah. down, down, I'm not doing that. Sweet, sweet baby. Wait, 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 wait. I'm Oprah licking. at 85. You good. I'll go you go good. I'm 60. I'll take it. She can't last that much longer. I don't give a fuck. See, I'm going for I'm it. I'm not eating no coochie that's expired. <laughs> Do it still sound like mac and cheese? It's got an expiration date on it. Fuck yeah, Coochie got an expiration date. What is that, Get crazy. Ones? No. So what's the expiration date on eating Expiration date, man. I'm going to come up to the top. Oprah's date. Oprah's a billionaire. I'm pretty sure she got something that's probably keeping her vast, tight, and plush and beautiful. Once you she need assistance. You right, get a vagina. You get a vagina. You get, <laughs> you get new walls. You get new walls. Oh my uh, God! Okay, so what the fuck are y'all talking? Oh, where are we going? <laughs> We're handing out wallets. new vaginas on the fucking Jay Man show. Man. <laughs> she got it. Oprah's wall tighteners. <laughs> <laughs> wall rejuvenation. <laughs> oh my God! No, I don't. Right. That you feel me? Oh, the Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm fucking with it. I'm sure she got something for it. <laughs> Just picturing an 85-year-old over is, is just mm. not. That's okay. Would you do it to the queen? Have you ever seen an 85-year-old vagina? How do you? How do you am I? No. <laughs> so I can only imagine, imagine it be like, like this. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> what it looks are you something like this. About? I'm imagining. Wait, wait. So what, it don't get on? better. It's yeah. like you know, like it's gonna look that, better that with time. Look at the hanging. Like, what are you talking about, bro? But in the flip though, at what age would you accept not getting head no more? When she'd be like, "No, nah, your balls is expired." What do you? Huh? Mm. I don't like the way you just did that, dude. What, yeah, what, what age? age I don't appreciate you, let you doing that. Your woman tell you your balls is expired. I ain't sucking dick no more. These balls don't get expired. Oh man, that's easy. If you married, you don't get that anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, man? Like, that's come on, why, man. That's why you tell niggas not to get married. Right? Hey, look, I was having a conversation at the restaurant with this. What the hell's going on here, man? Let's be honest. Married dudes. DoorDash was dude, dude from DoorDash was waiting on the order, and it was just a random conversation you that came up out of nowhere. You get a meal, nigga, <laughs> and, and your clothes washed. If you the like. thing is here, when you dating and courting, all that shit is dope, man. All that sexy shit is dope. Everything's spontaneous, it's fun. When you get married, or even tell like a chick, like you know what, uh, are we boyfriend girlfriend now, and start getting real with them, all that shit leaves. I don't know why, it just leaves. And then you start messing with these other bitches that treat you like. How it used to be. That's why them side bitches <laughs> are more like your girlfriend than your girlfriend is. He preaches. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like your girlfriend now just being like this, just a, this layup, this like this, 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 this parental toy or some shit. Like, like. No, 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 no. When you ask for some pills, man, you get pussy. Right, like a coupon for yeah. it, bitch. I don't need no coupon right now. I, really? I want some pussy. Oh, just... the man. But your, your side piece, like, hey, what you about to do? <laughs> Hour and a half, and I'm out. <laughs> I'm about to go holler the stoke. I've been drinking Henny for three hours. Right, she already <laughs> ready to hit. Talk about some come through real fast. I'm going to go to the store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that store is a long line. I went to Denny's, too. I don't know. Got us some food on the way back. Pre-order the shit. But you'll end up finding ways, dumb ways to go fuck with this side bitch. That's how, you, how your girlfriend used to be. Now I, your girlfriend is you being this old boring bitch. Like her... I'll give you an example before you slip up. <laughs> right. Let me stop. Now, here, here's, here's a big difference. <laughs> you know how it is when you date the chick. Tell. You know how it is when you date the chick okay. and you go over and she's expecting you or y'all just spending quality time she together. Have never been ready. You, know, you know the whole booty shorts, tank top, no bra, right? Booty shorts, tank top, no bra as a married man. Your wife looking at you crazy if you looking at her expecting... But some action that happened. It's just it's a normal. She's just chilling. Right. She just ain't trying to get all she, dressed. This is not. She's just chilling. She ain't doing this to turn your stinking ass home. Show the fuck ain't She's tough. trying to relax and watch fucking Housewives. How she chill. But you sitting there like thinking about like, oh, mm, your titties. Shit. Where's Anytime this right. usually comes on. Back in the day, this, this man, I was finna get some. It was finna happen. Right. Nah. I mean, it's 2020. That shouldn't even be no excuse. What do you mean? Turn on the DVR and come get on this dick. You can watch that shit in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's that easy, huh, Ben? No, I'm saying that shit, I said it should be. This is talking, we about, talking about. We ain't talking about 1985 when niggas had to know how to set a VCR. Trust what me. What are you talking about? If you get married these days, 
If you get well, if motherfuckers get married these know. days, they are still living from that eighty five era. If niggas get married these days, most women, they they raised up by older like folk. That's still married. Show is on. No, I didn't say not. <laughs> I didn't you were say just not. thinking of it different. No, I'm, I'm just saying if that's her excuse, baby, my show is on. No, listen, no, not, I not didn't your say girl. That was no, 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 no. It's, it's like this how your girlfriend would do though. It's your just not being an your expectation, wife. Ben. It's right. just, it's but not. But I'm saying when you go in and try. When she was your girlfriend, that was a given. That outfit as your girlfriend, she was ready to give you that. Depend on how good that episode is. That might be a good ass episode. Nah, we record. It'll still be like Hey man. That's why this man got a DVR. This nigga Ben is gonna have he's gonna have arguments about sex he getting married. Ben probably gonna get married. No, nah, hell no, nah, because then he cause he won't have to face this reality. Like all this shit. Then he can just sit right here and talk to us like a nigga who get pussy. Every weekend. Every weekend. But I don't. And I would <laughs> Every be, fucking I don't. weekend. Every weekend with this fucking right. Instagram live. We know what you trainers do. We know what you trainers right. MOs are fucking about. DM demon. Let me stretch you. Let me stretch you. Let me stretch you. Right. You fucking squatting uh, wrong. You, look at your high voice with. Look at your high voice with. Look at your voice with. Look at your voice You got to recorrect your glutes. So right. I'm going to tell, tell y'all this. Uh huh. I have a strict. I, don't, I would not fuck with a clown. You just, squat, you just stop training them, then fuck them, and hire no, them back next week? That's my thing. So <laughs> Tell me what you're doing, Ben. I've literally <laughs> lost a client because she thought she was going to get sex from me. And I'm like, my thing is this. If you're willing to pay me to be your trainer for you to try to have sex with me, one, that's not the woman I want, no way. But two, you got to look at it this way. If I ever stop fucking you, uh-huh. you're going to cancel. So it's like I'm paying for oh, pussy. Man. Because now I'm trapped in, I'm, remember when in Ray, when he was but like. But you're not cheap, he, Ben. You huh? got money, you can pay. No, but I'm saying mm-hmm. at that point, your mm-hmm. money, your money is directly tied to fucking. So I'm not doing that shit. You got to have some ethics because if I don't want right. to fuck you no more, or if you start acting up or you start tripping, now I got to lose money. So I'd rather you just leave now. We'll just, I'm not fucking no clients. But just trade, barter system. No, no. I don't fuck that. No, <laughs> hell no. Bro, I, don't, I don't mess with none of my employees. <laughs> yeah, that's no, bar- and, I'll and that stretch too, you and out. I mean, and on that shit, too, in 2020, I'm I'll just fire the ass. Part of the Me Too movement. <laughs> Your ass is you too know, fat. Was, I'm firing him. He was stretching me, and then next thing that's I know, his hand was on my vagina. Like, no, I'm you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Me too? I'm right. Like, no, nigga. You see, audience, I mean, everybody listening and watching, y'all see how the everything is just stacked up against us? Yeah. We can't, can't do win, nothing. Man. We got me too. We got marriage, government, police. Yeah, but marriage is a choice. <laughs> but see, what, what, taxes. What, no, you get pressured into this shit though. Man, they, yeah, you do. Be a so fucking much. man. Yeah, yeah. No. I got you. It, easier said than done. It is. Easier said than done. Not yeah. everybody is as strong as Stephen Jackson and willing to do that. Most niggas. Did she leave? Yeah. Is he with her anymore? No. Then he did the right thing. I know, but I'm just saying that's not the majority of the world that's because they, they they teach us all from a, the children with these mm-hmm. Disney movies that this is what you're supposed to do. So most niggas would be like, you know what, man? I want to make all my family here. I want to make everybody proud. My mama said Right, make them all happy. You know, you know they talking about the dead. Spent about the money the descendants and, and they're like, oh, you know, this is what it's supposed to be, God. They bring God into it. You know right. what? I had a dream. Shit. My grandma... Nigga, that's hard for niggas to back out of with all that shit for real. in your history right, and right. in your mind about what you're supposed to do. Dissonance. And you got a kid already? Oh, dissonance. shit. Like, oh, shit. I got to make it right. So that's what I'm saying. It's crazy. It's crazy. But oh, I, I, that leads me back to my segue that I was trying to get to before, which fucked it up. Now it's not really a good segue. But this was a question because I seen this on Facebook. And this was... um. A question from Jessica Pruitt, which is ironic because Jordan Pruitt had the last question that I read on the damn podcast. So she said, I think this is what she said. Would you date to marry someone who doesn't have the same religious beliefs? Let's pause and let that breathe for a second. Let me repeat it and let that breathe. And I want to think I want you all to think about this because we've been talking about marriage and kind of religion a little bit. So would you date? to marry someone who doesn't have and share the same religious beliefs as you. 